Hello Plushomaniacs, thank you for tuning in to another review video. So today, we are actually going to be reviewing a unique variation of Kirby. We recently purchased them at Target a few days ago while recording this video. And it's one of our favorites now, and that is the All-Star Collection number 29, Yo-Yo Kirby. So you can see here that this is gonna, gonna kind of be like a little short review, like mini review, kind of, like at the same time also kind of like, just basically like a review, review of comparisons of course, because we only have one Kirby plush to showcase, but this one is very unique. So let's get into it. So you can see here that, well we actually just bought him yesterday while they're making of this video, so he is still brand new with his tags. So right off the bat you can see that this is Yo-Yo Kirby. He has the mad look, the mad expression in his face with the embroidery and that exquisite detail right here with the eyebrows. So he actually has a mad face. And again he has like that like weird like hole in his, well it's not like a hole in his mouth, but he has like that mouth position where it's like a hole shape. So you can see the embroidery of the light pink to represent the tongue and then the maroon embroidery to represent the inside of the mouth. So you can see that he has a band-aid here, so it's kind of like covering up like the embroidery here, but this is actually like, not a real band-aid, but it's like made out of like some felt that's like sticked on or like glued on, which is also a nice detail. So you can see that he's wearing a backwards hat too, so you can see it's like a nice purple color with the yellow strap here. And then the actual front side of it, basically, is the yellow here, the yellow um, sticking up like for his shade of course. And then the nice star logo pattern here of his warp star. And then another warp star logo here, which is purple, super soft, with darker purple embroidery around, which is a nice intricate detail that they added. And then the like sole in the middle of it, where like everything is like stitched onto, is that yellow circle, of course. And then the white fabric here. So the detail on it is also amazing. So it's stitched here to here and to here. So there's about like four, po like five points of stitching around the hat. So it doesn't fall off at all. And you can see here is his yo-yo. I like how they use like a rope material for this. This is actually like, like a rope material. It is stitched to the inside of his hand. And this side of the yo-yo is stitched on his hand. And then the rope leads to the inside of the yo-yo, of course. So you can see here the nice embroidery detail to give it that 3D look, if you will. So you can see on the other side, his Warp Star logo, complete with that nice yellow embroidery with the white embroidery inside. So there's some like scratchy material here, and then it's completed around with the yellow embroidery around. And then the same thing here, but you can get a better look at it, because most of it's getting covered with the majority of his hand, which is also very nice, nice. So you can see here, that's pretty much it for this Yo-Yo Kirby. Again, the pink is really nice. He's a little smaller than the All-Star Kirby. Not too small, actually. So you can see the nice red boots with the beans in his feet. Of course, as all the plushes do, have the bean bags in their feet. You can see the back of it. Yo-Yo Kirby small, a little buddy. The inside of the tag, made in China. And then All-Star Collection, number 29. So I now let's get on to the comparison. So now, right off the bat, to just show the size comparison right here, is the All-Star Kirby. So you can see he has that nice smile on his mouth. So you can see the size difference. Although they are basically like the same size, like the feet are like a little tinier on this one. And just like the face in general. So overall, it's kind of like the same height, but like everything executed on the variants is a, a little smaller. Just like a little smaller. Like it's weird, like it's a little smaller so you don't think you would notice it, but you would actually notice like the size difference when comparing it. So this one is definitely a lot bigger. This is our first ever, or no, second ever Kirby plush because we got the old Sine one in 2015, I believe, or 2016, I believe, yeah, 2016. And then we got this one in 2018. I remember we got this one at Target, but that same day I also got Kirby Triple Deluxe for the 3DS, which is also a nice memory. So we used to show him in our old plush videos, but he, of course he is now retired because he's kind of like worn out. I was originally going to use this one, but I bought the newer old Sine one, so we replaced him with that. So now we have the comparison to Cutter Kirby. So you can see here they're the same size. And they also have the same exact face. That sole detail of like the hole in his mouth. Sorry. And then the blush. And then they have the same mad eyes. So these are one of the few Kirby the variants that have him in a mad position. So one foot's back here, one's sticking out, one foot's back here, one's sticking out. So basically they use like the same model for these two. They just executed 
different variations of, on them, of course. So pretty much these are the same plush, but it's just like a... Of course, they had the yo-yo, the band-aid, the hat, and then just the hat for this one. So yeah, that pretty much covers everything. So that, overall, that pretty much wraps up this video. So all of you plush maniacs, thank you again for tuning in. We are so glad that you enjoyed this review. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe for future plush content and reviews and along with more haul videos in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Yeah.